Hey everyone, this is H that's hella dope. Uh, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I will be uh, doing a demonstration how off crack works and how it breaks uh, Windows password. Uh, what off crack is is a um, open source uh, program. You can download it from this website. What it does is it reverse engineer the LM hashes using Rainbow Table and it breaks the password of a uh, Windows XP machine or when whatever operating system you want to break you have to download its live CD for it uh, let's start by saying I, I want to start by saying please do this on your own computer don't do this to on public computer like libraries and stuff uh, you don't want to be running off crack over there if you get caught it's, it's, it's illegal first of all and you know me I'm using a, a virtual machine uh, I'm using a Windows XP uh, Pro uh, Service Pack 3. Um, so let's get started. First thing you want to do is go to the Off Crack website. Off Crack, uh, once you get to the Off Crack website, you click on download. Gives you two options uh, two live CD in which you want to download. I downloaded the window, uh, the Off Crack XP because it works for uh, Windows XP. But uh, if you try to do uh, Vista in Windows 7, it's right now here. But um, why you want to download the live CD and run it? Because it's ISO file. ISO means it's bootable. That means that you have to configure. Uh, you put it, you burn it to CD-ROM. You and then you just put it in there. And from the BIOS, you say boot from uh, CD-ROM and it's bootable. And plus, uh, the live CD comes with a Rainbow Table Ray installed its own uh, GUI interface, uh, Linux interface. <laughs> So uh, once you download this, you're good. Now you have to configure your Windows. Uh, like I said, I'm using a uh, Window. Let me see which one I'm using. Ah, uh, right here, Window XP Pro 32-bit. Uh, what you want to do is click on here. Click on. Uh, I already have it loaded. It's a uh, use ISO image. Wherever you download the ISO, you want to go here. Wherever you download it, you want to go pick it. See, so, uh, I have two of them right now. I'll use this one. Uh, okay. And I press OK. Now, what you want to do is go VM, a toolbar on top, and you want to do Power on BIOS. The reason you want Power on, you click on Power on BIOS is because you want to configure your um, BIOS to boot from CD. See, go here boot from CD and you, the CD is supposed to be on the first one you can configure by using the plus and minus thing after that you do that one CD ROM drives on top press F10 press yes okay now it um as you see hold on one second let me arrange this for you okay now it's loading it's booting um I can see I rearranged my uh my thing so you can see the the middle of it is loading everything right now. Um, hopefully it doesn't take too long to load. It loads a a, a Sakura uh Linux GUI. Um, I don't know what that is, but um, I guess the maker want to use it uh use a Linux on it. And right now is this one is loading it right now. The RAM is loading the the XP. The XP tables, the XP um, rainbow table, and right now it's starting to crack the password. What I did was I configured test one to test five as a user, and I tried uh, many pa many uh, I tried different type of password and signs and stuff like that. And you can see at uh, the progress on the bottom that it is using the rainbow table to break up pieces by pieces. Of the of the password, see as in the uh, right here. If you click on uh, NT, it this is the down. This is this is what the password already is when it's been broken. This is the the final uh, password. Wow. So right now, let me see users. Let me go here. Let me see the progress. Pi takes like um couple minutes probably like I would say like uh, three minutes to go through all of them uh, depends on how many users I have since I'm um, I down I, I created five users that means it's gonna take a little while but here we go
Mm. Let me see how many password it could it could break. Mm. Um, probably in the next video I'll show you a better program, something called uh, the Ultimate Window Boot CD or something like that, which is, is, I can't find no way to stop that. And I'll show you how I'll show you how to uh, use it in the next video. Okay, guys. Uh, I have um, a pause video and came back, and right now is at 100%. Uh, it wasn't be able to find a test 2's password. Um, I don't know why. Um, but I found test one, three, four, and five. All of them right here to the left. It doesn't do the administrator because administrator doesn't use all them hashes. Um, so. Right now, I'll show you how to uh, disable LM hashes. So, and re I'll rerun off crack to see if, if it works. If it stopped the uh, off crack from uh, performing its job. Okay. So right now, let's uh, reboot this to make those settings again. Uh, settings. Go back to uh, thing. Use physical. Press OK. Press Yes. Boom. And reset. And I will be back. Uh, so now uh, we have uh, our virtual machine uh, Windows XP uh, Pro loaded back again. And I'll show you steps on how to uh, stop the off crack from uh, doing its job by by disabling the the uh, the LM hashes. Uh, first, you, first of all, you go to start command prompt. Uh, just type in reg edit. I can see, as you can see, I have a reg edit um, loader ready with where to go. But I'll show you step by step on where to go. <clears throat> First of all, you go to um, the local machines. In the local machines, you press in, you press on systems. You go to uh, control current control set. Then you go all the way down to LSA. And once you're on the LSA, you click that, and there will be something called no LM hash. You double click the LM hash, the key, and change the, the value of the key to 0. Oh, actually to 1. Sorry, I changed this before. Um, to 1. This will disable LM hash, okay? And uh, you press OK. It was on 1 before because I did a test run before I, I started this portion of the video just to make sure everything works out and it did. Okay, next you want to test it out. You go back to uh, this, you want to go back to uh, your computer. Let me see. Just, that was the other one. Um, you go to manage uh, and go to user. Uh, let's create uh, three more users, okay? Because uh, you want to make sure that it works. So one to five, uh, it was able to figure out the password except for number two. But let's try six, seven, eight. Let's create a user. So user six, I'll put in a random password. Let me see. C one C K nine C K nine. Okay. Uh, user seven will be. Let me see. P Z Press create. Oh well, wrong one. I didn't type the same one. Okay. Uh, user eight. User eight. I'll use some type of special characters. I guess would be um. Okay. What is it? What the hell did I just press? Is it down size or let me see? Okay, good. Okay, now we want to re restart it, reboot it, uh, run the off crack again, and see if it works. And uh, I'll show you. Whoa, this one's user. This one's supposed to be user eight. Okay, let's create another one. I don't see. I don't see user eight. Let's see user eight.
Okay, good. Let's reboot the machine into uh, off pack now. So I'm just going right here. I'm going to go to settings. ISO on off crack again. Where's that download? Go download. Okay, now I should press OK. Let's see. Okay. This one's done. This one says values one. Oh, why is it loading off crack? It shouldn't. Power off. <clears throat> okay. Actually, the first thing you want to do is power on the BIOS again. Because in the BIOS section, you want to uh, eliminate anybody from getting there. So you have to set a password. So no one could boot from the CD. Okay. If, well, somebody that's not really knowledgeable you can find out online into how to break the the bios but it sure will stop them as you can see i already entered uh in in the video uh not the previous video in the off time i made sure i entered i made a password so let me see i was in so you go right here you go to security password on boot let me see set password password on boot no, just say user password. See, no, no. Uh, 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 uh. there you go. Everything be safe. So right now, press F10, save the changes. Let's go and go reload. No, press enter. And right now, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna wait. I'm gonna wait till it loads up. Then I'm gonna click start the thing, start the off crack, and I'm gonna pause it because it's gonna take a while. Then I'll be coming back with the result. And I'll I'll tell you why that um six seven eight won't work and still one to five still work because uh one to five still works because uh it's it's the previous hash um let's see let's go oh it's working right now as you can see it's uh right here that's the that's the tables. Is setting up again as you can see uh one two one one is that one two and five is still be able to find some part of the password as you can see six seven eight nothing yet okay I will wait till it loads to 100 percent so I'm just gonna pause the video and come back to it uh, okay guys so I am back and uh, as you see I have ran off crack again and it's almost done um, the progress as you can see is almost 100 percent as you can see 6 7 and 8 and the uh, undefined user right here which is supposed to be 8 but um, there was no password over here the, the thing is it's because that Number six, seven, eight, and user are when the password was was made. It already uh, enabled the no lm hash that, and with no lm hash, the off crack cannot crack the password. And as you can notice, that the unchanged password one, two, three, four, five, well except for two, um, are still vulnerable because uh, previously created lm hashes are still present over here. Uh, so this is uh will be the conclusion of my video. I hope you enjoy. I hope uh you learn some stuff. And uh please tune in next time. I uh, will show you a different type of uh uh boot up CD, which uh, I think is like the the best one, um the best uh boot up CD that there is. And I don't see. I tried to find a way to stop it, but uh honestly I couldn't. So I might as well educate you on it. Okay. Um as I said uh please uh do this on your own. Uh, computer your own system don't do it anywhere else publicly or with or on some computer that you're not authorized or been given permission to do it on okay thank you so much uh please tune in bye